Welcome back to episode two of my journey north, back home to Seattle from Phoenix. If you watched the end of my first episode, I just left Joshua Tree. This is a direct continuation of that video. I literally just said goodbye to that video. Now I'm starting this video. I'm actually still in Joshua Tree currently because I'm leaving right now. In today's journey, we are heading north into Sequoias National Park. Without further ado, let's get into this adventure. Hey, alarm, shut up. Let's explore the Sequoias. So to start our journey in this episode today, we have about a five hour, 19 minute drive. We got a lot of driving to do today, so wish me luck. First things first, let's top off the gas tank for the long journey ahead. You have arrived. Okay, we are topped off, all filled up. Let's crank this drive out. There's no easy way around it. You just gotta go head on and just crank it out. <laughs> stoked we made it finally hey there, how you doing? good how you doing awesome thank you so much thank you we are officially in the sequoia national park it was good to finally be here after a long morning and afternoon of driving ah i cannot wait to get out of this car and just go explore a little bit now Hey, okay, just got done at the visitor center. Got a rad little sticker for the overhead rack and a sick little coffee mug of the park. It says Sequoia National Park on there. I'm a sucker for coffee mugs. And I got a Sequoia National Park hat. I am also a sucker for hats. <laughs> so that was a successful visitor center visit. Now let's go over to the campground. Here's home for the night. There's lots of bears here. So I have to stick all my food in here. Got my cooler. And all my food in here. Because bears are that prevalent here. Since the bears are that prevalent, they require you to store your food like that. Which is kind of intimidating. <laughs> so there is one unfortunate thing that I found out. The main road through the park is currently closed right now. I'll try to show you guys on the map. Currently I'm right here at Pawisha. The road is closed starting right here. Up to like right here. This is all closed. 
I'm staying up here tomorrow night. My original plan was to do this whole road tomorrow. And some of it to, tonight was my original plan, but this is, I can't get up here now because this is closed. So I'm gonna have to drive all the way back down into the valley and then go up this way and come in this side tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be able to explore much of the park tonight like I had planned. So I'm just gonna leave really early tomorrow now and get into that, get into the north side of the park and do all my exploring tomorrow. But it is what it is, gotta roll the punches. But even though that road's closed, there is some still hiking trails around this campground, so. We'll make the most of it and get on those. So, it looks like there's a trail right here, right next to the campground to Marble Falls. You don't even have to drive there. I can just walk in from the campground. So I think I'm gonna do that one. I have no service up here either, so I can't like look up hikes. So I just gotta rely on this map and it shows one right here. So I'm gonna go look for it. <laughs> nice. Okay, we found the trail. Marble Falls. 3.7 miles one way. 1400 foot gain my lordy this is a big one Ooh, do not want to get into those heck no all right let's just go walk up this trail and see what we find i don't know if i'll finish it or not because it's kind of late already but 3.7 miles one way so it's a little under eight miles total it's already 4 p.m i don't know maybe if we mob it out maybe we could uh do the whole thing but we'll see we'll play it by ear Wow, look how beautiful that is. Look at that water. I'm kind of hoping that I can get my head in the water at some point on this trail just to dip my head. Because I haven't showered in two days. <laughs> That's just the reality of camping. If you're camping consecutive nights, it's hard to shower. And the hair is crazy right now. Look at that. I can't help it. Sorry. like fairy tale land out here to a complete 180 from where I just came from in Arizona now I'm in forests and mountains flowers bears <laughs> this is just crazy this is so cool I just passed another fellow hiker and I asked her how long it took her to do this hike she started about three hours ago but she also spent 40 minutes at the top. And she was almost at the bottom because I just started. So we should have time to knock this out before sunset. I just don't want to be out here too far into the evening since it is an active bear area. They like to come out in the evenings, I think, because it's too hot during the day right now to come out. So as you can tell, I'm cranking it a little bit. I'm, I'm going at a pretty quick pace just to ensure I can crank this out and get back in a timely manner. So let's do this. These views are insane. This is way cool. Let's keep grinding it out. I'm hiking so fast. I'm so tired, <laughs> but I love the workout. And I forgot that I'm going to be back in humidity now. I got so used to no humidity in Arizona, but out here, definitely some humidity. So I'm already sweating way more than I have in the last four months. <laughs> but look at these views. It's incredible. There's a creek down there. 
think we're getting close. Oh, heck yeah. Little stream. Woo, that's so good. Yes. That creek might be the closest I'll get to a bath for like another two days, so I had to take advantage. I think we're getting close, man. I think we are. You can hear the water so loud. Oh yeah, I think we're here. I got a little roadblock on the trail. I gotta wait for it to get off. Well, let's hope there's not more of those on this trail. <laughs> Jeez. What's funny about that is I didn't see a single rattlesnake in Arizona, not one, on any of the trails. And then I come to Sequoias. And that's when I see one. <laughs> that's a little backwards. That was so epic and so refreshing. And now I'm making my way back down to camp and we'll have a full day of adventuring tomorrow on the other side of the park in the Sequoias. I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Cheers.
we are off. Say goodbye to that campground. It's a little after 6 a.m. So we're getting the early start that we wanted. And now I'm just gonna drive back down into the valley and then drive north and then come back into the park from the north side because that road is closed. So yeah, it's about a little over a two hour drive up to that side. So that's why I wanted to get up early, crank it out, get back into the park and have the whole day to explore. So I'll see you guys on that end of the park when I get there. We made it to the other end of the park, finally. Took me a lot longer than I thought. It's about nine o'clock now. So it took me about three hours to transfer over. But nonetheless, we are now here. It is time to go explore the sequoias. It is pretty dang sweet in here, man. I cannot wait to get on some trails. Right now I'm heading to the General Sherman tree. I cannot wait to see this behemoth of a tree. Finally to our first stop, the General Sherman tree. Let's go see a behemoth. These trees are bigger than my future. <laughs> it's incredible. This place is simply incredible. Can't stop smiling. I feel like my face is gonna fall off. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The trees are massive. Everything about this place is just magical. I mean, look at those things. Massive. Look at this guy. He's burnt to a crisp all the way up. Got a huge hole right here. <laughs> I feel like this guy could topple over any second.
Okay, I've been frolicking among these behemoths for hours now and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make my way back to the car and get some grub and then we'll keep exploring. Hike out of there is flipping a doozy. <laughs> All right, give me some food. I am starving. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. First food of the day. And it's 2 p.m. Guess you forget to eat when you're having fun. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was back there that long. It is a magical, magical place. It's so beautiful back there. If you've never seen the sequoias, definitely come. It is spectacular. But all right, I'm gonna get some food in me. I'm gonna rest a little bit, rejuvenate. And then we'll probably start making our way back to the campground and get set up there and then uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. Okay, now I found myself over on Morrow Rock. There's 350 stairs. So, frick. <laughs> but, the views. <laughs> All right, that was pretty sweet. Epic views up there. And a uh, good little way to raise your heart rate a little bit for the day. Over 350 steps. On to the next thing. I'm going to go check out Tunnel Log. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep sightseeing. I just drove through a tree. This is home for the night. Home sweet home. They got the bear cams again because there's a lot of bears out here. Okay, just getting settled into camp here. I'm gonna make a little bit of food and then uh, the grant tree is like right at the edge of camp. I'll probably go do that right after we eat, so. <laughs> got my trusty oatmeal. What else would I be eating, right? Two of them. Cheers. Cheers number two. Easy as that. And I love it. I love easy. <laughs> I am now on the Grant Tree trail and I'm currently walking through a fallen tree. <laughs> yep. 
I still can't comprehend how big these trees are. Their branches are the size of regular trees. Their branches. <laughs> it's insane. Look at these guys. Like what? Alright, so that was the Grand Grove. Those trees, man, I, they just take your breath away. I have no words. Like, they're, they're indescribable. The size of these trees are truly impossible to even comprehend. I just get stuck staring at them. I just stand there and stare at them. It hurts my neck. I'm all looking up so high. You gotta look like this just to see the tops of them. This park is something special. God is one insane artist, man. The fact that he thought these up and created them, like it just blows my mind. Blows my mind. But now it's sun is starting to go down to six o'clock, a little after six o'clock. Sunset's about eight or eight thirty or so. I'm gonna continue down toward the King's Canyon direction of the park. Cause there's supposed to be some uh, viewpoints and overlooks and stuff in that direction. So I'm just gonna meander down that way and see what we can get into, see what views we can see. Not much planned, just gonna drive and uh, if I see something cool, I'll stop, check it out. So let's end this day off strong. Sequoia National Park, what a gym, what a gym. Okay, I think we found some views. Are you kidding me? This is absurd. <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to get my camera out, try to snag some sizzlers. It's going to be a good evening. Uh, I love stuff like this so much. I mean, just look at this. This is just unbelievable. And I'm the only one here. I am the only one here. I'm the only one in this entire planet right now looking at this view. I'm the only one on this entire planet looking at this view right now. That is special. <laughs> wow, what a view that was. I love stumbling onto views like that and just such an epic landscape. It was so rad. Alrighty, that will do it for the adventuring today, I think. I want to make my way back to the campground, have a nice warm campfire, and then get to bed, get some rest, because we have yet again a whole nother day of adventuring tomorrow in Yosemite. That is going to be epic. I cannot wait for that. So. It's getting chilly already. I decided to come down here to the Grant Grove parking lot to make my cup of coffee this morning because I didn't want to make a bunch of noise in the campground. It was still before 6 a.m. 
I'm just trying to be a good camper, come to a more quiet spot, make my cup of coffee, make my noise. And also I wanted to say one last goodbye to the Sequoias and then we'll be on the road. This might be one of the coolest places I've ever made a cup of coffee in the morning. Cheers. Say goodbye to the Sequoias. Goodbye Sequoias. Thanks for having me. So that's gonna wrap it up for this national park. Sequoia National Park is officially behind me in my journey home. It was a fantastic park. So now I'm on to my next destination, which will be Yosemite National Park. So I'm gonna end this episode here. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Tune in to the next video as I go and explore Yosemite. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.